Hey everybody, Autobot John here, and I just thought I'd give you a look at my finished Batman from my life size. Um, and I've got a couple things I want to run by you guys and uh, get some opinions, but uh, hopefully everybody will agree with what I'm going to say. First of all, I just want to give a shout out to uh, uh, the prop shop. I forgot to mention in my last video of my uh, custom Freddy that for Halloween I made a deal uh, trade and I got the reborn mask and it is freaking awesome. But uh, so prop shop, I want to give you props, man. Anyway, here he is. Um. And I'm still using my Acer camera, so uh, you guys got to bear with me. Um, let's see. Sorry for shaking this, guys, but I want to show these. Okay, there it is. These are my custom 89 boots. I was never able to find any that I could afford, so I made my own. These are Nike... Um, uh, well, they're not the Nike Airs he wore in the movie, but they're Nike shoes. They're close enough. Um, they look like what he wore. That's all that matters to me. Uh, let's see. It's got, like, the straps on it, the little designs. Uh, the boot tops are made of, uh, um, uh, uh, like, cardboard, but, like, a uh, vinyl material, too. The boots itself are actual boots, rubber boots. They were really hard to make, uh, but I made them, and they look really good. That's all that matters to me, guys, is that they look really, really, really good. That's all that I care about. Um, his knee pads and everything. Okay, so anyway, guys, um, you know... He's not completely movie accurate, but I mean, he's as close as I can get for what I can afford, and I'm happy. Um, so, the gloves. I don't know if I've ever shown these or not. The gloves. Really as accurate as I can get them. Um, the gloves are just regular black gloves that I found. Um, but the actual metal parts are real, uh, 80 are, are actual props from the 89 Batman. I bought them from, uh, the prop form. Um, they both, uh, have the same designs on both sides. The little fins, uh, metal pieces that keep them on. Um, so yeah, uh, the belt... The chest, uh, the symbol, of course, you all know is the Batman Returns symbol because I do not have the 89 one and I don't like the 89 version. I'd rather keep it with the one everybody can recognize. Uh, the cape, uh, just a regular black cape I bought off of eBay. And then, of course, the head. Um... I really did as much work on it as I could. I did a good job as far as I'm concerned. I don't care what everybody else says. Um, the face sculpt, it, it, for, uh, I, I don't want to show it because I don't want to ruin it, but uh, it is removable. And there is a Michael Keaton designed head underneath and this is all latex. This this mask right here is a latex face bust with real glass eyes. So uh, it's a very uh, very unique piece. But uh, figured I'd show you guys that. You might thought you guys might enjoy seeing Batman finally, you know, because that's one thing I didn't get to show was Batman. Uh, and we got the Dark Knight Rises coming out, and, uh, you know, I, I just wanted to show you guys, well, 
This is the Batman. This is Batman I grew up on. This is Batman to me. Michael Keaton is Batman. Always will be Batman, in my opinion. But, you know, I'm not trying to say Christian Bale's bad or anything. Just this is who I grew up with. This is Michael Keaton. This is Batman. Well, anyway, so that's him. Now, here's, my, here's what I've got planned. And a lot of people are probably going to be like, no, don't do it. But I'm a customizer, guys. Got to do it. Um, Superman is going to be my trial project. I'm going to do something that I don't know if anyone has ever tried. I really don't know if anybody's ever tried it. But I thought about it. What I'm going to do... is I am going to remove his arms. And I'm going to take wire that you can buy at Lowe's, and I'm going to make an armature is what they call it. Uh, artists use these. Um, you can use, basically, it's like a, a, a statue, uh, not a statue, but a, a figure that you can bend and pose, and you can, you know, that's what they use to do their artwork and everything. I figure, why can't you take that and make a life size out of it? Now, this is where it's going to get tricky. I'm not going to destroy the mannequin. I'm just going to remove the arms. And basically, here's what I'm going for. Ready? I'm going for this pose right here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but yeah, right there. I'm going for a crossed arm pose. Um, I kind of got the idea from Odell's one of Odell's videos. And see, the one thing... Alright, I'm very happy with him. Don't get me wrong, but I was like, you know... Everybody that makes a life-size always has theirs, like arms down, or what's the other pose Superman's known for? Right? Well, I figured I'd be different. Uh, I haven't seen anybody do this one yet. And see, mine's isn't going to be looking straight. What I'm going to do is tilt his head, and I'm going to have him like this, looking at you like this. Figured that'd be kind of cool. The other one I was thinking about, but I'd have to buy a brand new hand, and I'm not really looking to do that right now, is I was thinking about doing his, where he's, you know, his famous pointing that everybody knows him for. Um, but I'm actually going to start on this starting probably this Saturday. But what I'm going to do is remove the costume and all the padding I did to him and remove the arms and I'm going to put bendy arms. And then what I'm thinking about doing, because I don't want the costume to get ripped by the wires, I'm going to buy some foam. Um, you can buy them in like the pool section. I don't know if you can find them anymore. But what I'm thinking about doing is the, you know, the, the tubes. I'm thinking of taking foam and placing foam on it. And that way it gives him a look, design still, but it will um, not rip the suit. Now, let me get one thing straight. I'm not making this so I can go and pose him in all these different directions and stuff. No, I'm just going to make him to where he can do this, and that's it. But it's something that I don't know if anybody's ever done. It's something I thought about doing, and if it works, I've got other plans. Like, for instance, if it works with Superman, Batman's going to be posed like this. Like he's getting ready to throw a batarang at you. That'll be kind of cool. Uh, I may go back and do the Terminator stuff. Uh, Arnold's pose where he's holding the grenade launcher and he's got his gun like this. You know, the famous T2 pose. I'm probably going to go with that one if it works. And then for Freddy, well, the one I would love to do with Freddy is his famous one. 
if I can get it to work, I would love to have Freddy like this. Where he has his glove up against his head and he's looking like this. And maybe even have his hand in his pocket like this. Now, I don't know if this is going to work, but like I said, I'm going to do a trial with Superman. And the good thing is, if it doesn't work, I can always put the arms back on and nothing's hurt. But I'm going to try it with him. So, y'all wish me luck. Um, I can't... The good thing is, like I said, I can't ruin him. It's not going to hurt him either way. But if it works, it's going to be outstanding. It's going to... If I can steal one from uh, my boy Odell, it's going to blow your fucking minds. But uh, we'll see what happens with that. I would love to see it work because it'll be something cool. Um, it's very cheap, too, because I've already checked out the price of the supplies, the wire, the foam, uh, to take a bunch of duct tape, um, electrical tape. Uh, I'm going to have to buy some padding again so I can repad him because it's not paper and stuff I use. It's actually pillow stuffing that's best uh, pillow stuffing or, um, um, well, just cloth, period, makes a good padding. Um but all that uh, put together, I'm looking to about 40 bucks. That's not bad. Um, but anyway, wish me luck. I'll send you some videos showing you the progress or, you know, when he's done. Either way, you'll see a new Superman pose or you won't see anything. But either way, I'll let you guys know. Um, Autobot saying, uh, salon to everybody. Odell, I saw your latest video this morning before I went to work, and you're right, there is no beef between me and you. Um, and you're right, it's all for fun, and just because it's for fun, let me show you this. Feel free to bash this if you want to. But I went back and repainted it. I've had this for a while. I just was afraid to show it, to be honest. I went back and repainted it. Uh, this Halloween, I bought some more hair, a wig. And I added the wig to it. And he's got his hair in the face. And uh, uh, he doesn't have that long-ass forehead anymore, Odell. <laughs> and uh, I think he turned out a lot better. But you guys be the judge of it. Um, and uh, eventually, like I said, one day when I do have more room to do more life-size, there will be a Joker standing with Christopher Reeve and Michael Keaton. Alright guys, wish me luck, and uh, later.